Shalom, 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 Israel. Paz y bendiciones a ustedes, hermanos. Israelitas. Este año que el año esperanzador, esperanza el año esperanzador, el año esperanzador, el año esperanzador, el año el el es algo que es nuestro trabajo. Saludos, hermanos, saludos a nuestros apóstoles, ancianos, saludos a ustedes, hermanos, sinceros, que hacen este trabajo en lugares para Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, the elders, and the millstone. Well, peace and salutations as always to the elect. And as you just saw, the devil is all over the place and continues to bug out. Closer and closer he gets to the end of his rulership. As the scriptures say, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Okay? And the scriptures tells you how he was going to come down with great wrath right? because he knew he had a short time and we're living in those times. The scriptures talked about how Satan, after he was released out of his prison, that's uh, the history of the Renaissance, be loosed for a little season and go out and just push nothing but deception up into the time of Armageddon, which is World War III that's going to be headed by uh, God and made uh, and so forth, which we always go into those things. But today, um, I was going to do a lesson on to Habakkuk, the third chapter, in which Habakkuk saw a vision of a chariot invasion, a chariot invasion. The world taking down Babylon the great, and the chaotic scene uh, associated with the second coming of the world because of Jesus Christ and we're going to get that. You know, but uh, as I uh, had thought to do that uh, lesson, you know, I ran across this lesson. Por la uh, magnitud the, uh, de la grandeza en el rescate de GMS Israel de Babilonia, ha, de América. Right, I'm along the bar. O sea, eso que las plagas que le cayeron a Egipto y todo lo que pasó las naciones aterrorizadas, el mar se abrió, va a quedar chiquito para lo que hoy en día va a ser ya la nación. Okay, which we know these devils are watching the videos and seeing the Great espantado. Awakening pues of the Hebrew de Israelites, de uh, you know, which they're sending their little minions to try to stop it, discredit it, and push doubt, you know, but um, these devils are worried, and we know that these devils are uh, big on controlling the narrative, which they're losing control of the narrative, all right, via the truth coming out, because what what keeps this system going is lies. As a matter of fact, let's get the uh, book of uh, Second Edges, the sixth chapter. 
a escuchar naciones. Faith of the Israelites. Presten atención. The testimony Entonces, of the Lord. Under the blood of Yahweh Shai. Que escuchen la tierra y lo que hay en ella. This is the book of El mundo chapter 6. Todo lo que produce. Twenty-seven. Start at twenty-five. It says, "Whosoever was made it for all these things, I have told you, shall escape." You see my salvation in the end of the world. In the end of what world? When we go to the end of the chapter, it tells you what. Second Andrew 69, for Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of the death of destruction. Okay, and we're living in a time where great prophecies are coming to pass. You know, and these devils are operating. All right. Uh, it's a high level fear, but they're trying to promote it as if they got everything under control. And they got the breakdown. See, and we're living in these times. Okay. It says, the men that are received shall see it. And we know the remnant are going to be the ones that escape. All right, all of these uh, crazy things that's coming to the earth. And the men that are received shall see it. We will not taste the death from the birth. We were chosen from the foundation of the earth to get the victory. And the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. And you can see that happening now. As the devil has not stopped. Okay, every week we got something, you know, uh, some sort of deception and mischief going on, you know, and uh, people are worried, people are scared, people are, you know, especially what's going on with the banks, what's going on with food, you know, inflation, that's all the result of prophecy coming to pass. It says, for evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched, okay, the water of the word is putting out. Okay, the fiery darts of Satan and all his lies. All right, pseudoscience, corruption, deception. Right, and the force of the sword is what has forwarded Esau up until this point. Okay, as for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which has been so long without fruit shall be declared. You see that? And that's what's happening because we know these devils, okay. Que ni siquiera nosotros podemos describirme de en la manera de que right, nosotros sabemos quién son, cuáles are. son los carruajes. Okay. Leave it up ¿Cómo to vamos a devils? salir de aquí de, you know, de, de esta so cautividad? UFOs, Pero you think of Las aliens, naciones nos juzgan you know, big eye, estúpidos, you know, locos, uh, creatures, you know, de dónde creen que, and, you know, que nosotros vamos a salir así body, o que nosotros big for their body, body, green, you know, which, which, is, which is blasphemy that's, that's a lie están para this pelear is uh, the book of Revelation the 13th chapter and the 6th verse and it says no lo he opened his mouth no and blasphemed against the Most High to blaspheme his name okay. and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven so he blasphemed the name of the Most High his reputation his memorial okay. his, his actual name Right, and his only begotten son and his tabernacle, which is the tabernacle of the Most High, are the Israelites, where his truth dwells, where he sends the Holy Spirit, and he blasphemes us via pseudoscience and all of the other various different things he's done to push and promote who we really are, and them that dwell in heaven. Okay, so he's blasphemed the truth. Okay, he's, blaspheme. he's the one who, who's truly blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Okay, he's even saying there is no God. Okay, and, you know, if there was one, right, he has the power and the means on the left hand side to overcome that God. Okay, even if that God happens to be playing, bring uh, plagues, you know, he has the technology right, to overcome the plagues that are brought on by the Most High. And then he says, the son of the Most High is fake news, but as you can see here, and them that dwell in heaven. So for so long this devil has been able to uh, lie and promote mischief and falsehoods about what those chariots really are. Right? And now we're living in a time where they're openly on the news telling you right, that the Pentagon sees so-called UFOs all the time. All right, um, they release particular documents, you know, particular uh, pilots, Right, they're coming out saying that they, they were you know, told, you know, they told what they saw. All 
right? They can be held accountable, all right? And ultimately, they're trying to uh, basically control the narrative of uh, what these vehicles are, right? Which there are vehicles in the heavens, okay? Just like man has been granted, you know, uh, power to uh, create vehicles in the scriptures, speaks about chariots, right? The Hebrew word for chariot is makarab, right? Or marakab, or rakab, as a matter of fact, when we get Habakkuk, the third chapter, as we show you, the Most High gave Habakkuk the vision of those chariots invading the earth. And we're going to show you that chaotic scene right, that Habakkuk saw, which is associated with what? The deliverance of his people. Okay? And Esau doesn't have the breakdown. And he sees us. Okay? He sees us out preaching, prophesying. Okay? He hears the message. Right now, all of a sudden, Pentagon officials are claiming there's an alien mothership. Because there's no such thing as a mothership. It's a fathership. Right? And you get the book of, and ultimately is a chariot that the Heavenly Father is going to send right, in the world ignorant we call Jesus Christ back on right, and it's associated with a white horse you know, a cloud and various other things in the scriptures right, in Revelation the 7th chapter Revelation the 7th chapter this is the scripture that you brought out, brother Yohana. This is Revelation. Not Revelation, the seventh chapter, so like Revelation 1. But that's the deliverers of his people in Revelation 7. All right, Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Okay, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. That's how the Lord is going to return. He's going to come in the clouds in the sky. All right, but the clouds in the Bible. All right, as a matter of fact, let's get that. Clouds go back. Behold, he come with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so am I. And there's various other scriptures that, that, that gives you the uh, chaotic, you know, uh, scene of how the Heavenly Father is going to send his son back to gather the elect and to destroy Babylon and break the particular parts of the earth. Okay. I am the Alpha and Omega, beginning and ending, right? saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. See? And that's who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Now, they've promoted him as this all-loving, you know, soft, you know, carefree individual that just allows people to do what the hell they want to do. When you go into the Bible, his second coming is associated with, you know, a terrible, chaotic, devastating scene. All right, now this is the book of Psalms 104 and 3 it says who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters and maketh his and maketh the clouds his chariot and he walketh upon the wings of the wind who maketh his angels spirits his ministers a flaming fire and those angels right inhabit those chariots now when you look at this word chariot in the Hebrew Okay. Ra Ka Wab Ra Ka Wab Right, chariot or the root word is Rakaab Rakaab right. To mount and ride Okay, ride To mount, ride, sit or ride Who's sitting there? Who's riding it? Todo lo que hemos Right, is it just speaking of just a regular cloud? No, the, the, see, again, the Bible is highly symbolic. And this is what the, the Lord did that to bug people out. 
All right? And as we bring out this doctrine, he wants people to look at it and say, what? It's supposed to sound crazy. You see, but what was it that the Lord sent to deliver the children of Israel out of the first Egypt? He sent his only begotten son, his angel, all right, in the form of a pillar, all right, a cloud by day, okay, in a pillar of fire by night, okay, we can get that and what was that for you, uh, you know, uh, you people who say you believe in the Bible what exactly was that Exodus 13 and 21 and the Lord Yahweh went before them via his angel According to the story, all we have to do is go into it. It wasn't Yahweh himself in the chariot, but when you go into the story,